620 right now. The future of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau looks brighter after oral arguments before the Supreme Court. Howard Dykus is here. Payday lenders who dislike regulation by the agency argued that the Constitution requires Congress to approve funding every year. The Consumer Financial Protection Bureau gets funding from the Fed. The Constitution says all federal spending from the Treasury must stem from an act of Congress. But fees from the Fed were approved by an act of Congress. Fees also fund the Post Office and the Patent Office and the Customs Service and the National Mint. Reporters at the oral arguments said most of the justices seemed skeptical of the payday lenders' argument. The Bureau protects customers from deceptive practices of payday lenders and has ordered billions of dollars returned to customers.